Hi guys, Rachel here from The Confused Millennial. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be talking about the Love Every Play Kits and whether or not they're worth it. I'll also be answering all of the frequently asked questions I get since I've had them now for just about 18 months. Um, so let's jump into it. If you don't know, what is Love Every first and foremost? Um, Love Every is basically a Montessori based toy company. They have some awesome products like their Love Every Play Gym, um, a super fun mat with all sorts of stations. They have an awesome lock set. And then these are their play kits, which are delivered right to your door. They're subscription based. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below where you guys can get 10% off. But basically how it works is the first year of your child's life, the boxes come every other month and then one to two and two to three years old, their toddler play kits come every quarter. So once every three months. What I love about their play kits is they're delivered right to your door. They're already done for you. All of the toys are chosen and they're all backed by research. If you're a new parent or pregnant or anything like that, you know just how many decisions us parents have to face every single day. I mean, there's just like an onslaught of decisions to be made. So it's really nice when one can be done for you to reduce that decision fatigue. The other reason I love Love Every is because their toys are designed to meet your baby where he or she is at developmentally. They work with a team of experts to guide the development of all of their products. We're talking academics, researchers specializing in baby brain development, psychologists, occupational therapists, Montessori experts. And there's an entire page on their website, I'll leave a link to in the description box as well, that team of experts in all of their credentials too, if you're interested. Basically, like it saves you a ton of time trying to figure out is this a good toy? Is this supporting? Is this the best toy to support my child with where they're at and the skills that they're supposed to be developing at this age? And without you having to do all of the research and like know everything, they have already done it for you. Which, again, that's a huge sigh of relief and a huge time saver when you are an exhausted parent. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is, can you buy Love Every Toy separately? The answer is yes, but also no. <laughs> um, like I said, they have an awesome play gym, they have an awesome block set, and they have a couple handfuls of other toys that you can buy individually, but none of the toys found in their play kits are sold separately, meaning you have to subscribe to the play kits in order to have access to them. But don't worry, they are worth it. Which I guess leads us to the next frequently asked question, which is how much do these cost? The first year when they come every other month, they are $80 per kit. Years one through three, they come every quarter, so once every three months, those are $120 per kit. You can get 10% off, um, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below, so technically it can come out to as little as $36 a month, if you will. But if we break that down even further and just kind of think about what if I wanted to buy all of the items in the play kits all on their own rather than through Love Every, what can I find them on Amazon? A lot of the items you can find comparable versions on Amazon, however, they're gonna be a lot more expensive on Amazon actually. When you do the math and calculate the average amount of toys in each play kit and the cost of the play kit, it comes out to about, depending on the play kit, seven to nine dollars per toy in the box. Whereas a lot of the items, when I would go on Amazon trying to find a comparable version, those were costing 15, 25, $30. So when you compare that, it's just like, obviously this is a no brainer. This is a huge amount of savings. I would rather just ask um, friends and family to donate towards a Love Every Play Kit fund than get a bunch of useless junk toys that all of make a ton of noise and I want to pull my hair out. I know I never wanted to have that house that was just like sounds all of the time. And fortunately, because most of these toys are wooden, they are Montessori based, they're just a lot quieter, <laughs> which what parents doesn't want a little more quiet in their life. So I've been saying the word Montessori a lot. In case you don't know, Montessori is simply a method. Um, it was developed by, I think her name was Maria Montessori in the early 1900s. And what it really comes down to is sort of like respect the individual, if you will. Meaning don't interrupt or step in for your child if 
they think that they can do this task, give them the space to do it. So when we take those kind of like high end concepts and translate it into toys, what that basically means is you're curating a set of toys in an environment that encourages open ended play, meaning that the toy can be used for a multitude of purposes. It's not just hit this one button, hit this one button. That's not Montessori. Montessori is, oh, I can use this basket to collect things. I could use this basket to wear as a hat. I could use it as a treasure box. Like, There's so many different ways that you could take a basket and reimagine it. The other piece of Montessori is really giving a child space to master their own independence and freedom and really develop focused independent play, which I mean, isn't that what every parent wants at the end of the day? Especially in the toddler years, you know, toddlers like to play side by side. It's called parallel play. So like I may be playing with one of the toys in the Love Every Play Kit next to my daughter, but I'm not actually playing like with her. That's how it started off. And then as she kind of watched me and observed me play with the toys, she would take it and she would work on it. So I could go cook dinner. I could go get 20 minutes to myself. Obviously like kids want you to play with them and they want attention and stuff like that. But when you really stick to keeping a Montessori playroom, which means that it's minimalist, it's well organized, all of the toys are accessible to the child, you really get to kind of like take a step back and be like, okay, wow, my kid just played with that for 15 minutes while I was in the other room. This is a parenting way. Um, and it's just fostering that type of independence. It doesn't mean that you like neglect your child and you never play with them, but you're allowing them to build up their own focus, escape into their own world, develop creativity, problem solving, out of the box thinking, all those things that we want for our children. I will leave a link to an entire blog post on what Montessori is if you guys want to go deeper into it. I went to a Montessori preschool I've watched kids since I was 13 years old. I babysat, I worked with autistic children in college. I've always been around a lot of kids and I knew that I really wanted to create um, a Montessori based playroom environment curating those types of toys in our home. And I'm happy to say we've been doing it successfully really thanks to how simple Love Every has made it with their play kits. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, that's great your kid likes them, but will my kid actually like them? My kid likes loud and crashing and this, that, and the other. And I think back to when I was pregnant and my daughter is my first child and I would talk to friends that have kids and I would say, oh, I wanna have all wooden toys, super minimalist, aesthetically pleasing which Love Every checks all of those boxes, so aesthetically pleasing. And they would all kind of laugh at me. They were like, yeah, come talk to me in a year. Let me know how many light up toys you have and how many push button toys there are. The wooden toys just don't hold their attention. But that simply isn't the case in my experience. Um, and I think a large part of that is because we utilize toy rotation. If you wanna go deeper into that, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But in a nutshell, toy rotation is simply leaving out five to eight toys in my daughter's playroom at a time at a level that she can easily access and get to all of them all on her own, so whether or not I'm in there. And then when I notice she hasn't played with an item for a few days, I take it out and I swap in something else. And when I say I take it out, I mean I put it behind a door that she can't access completely out of sight, and then I'll bring it out a couple weeks later or a month later, and it's like a brand new toy again. I think a lot of the times parents end up with a ton of clutter and chaos on the toy front because they get a toy for their child, they absolutely love it for the first week, few days, whatever, and then they never touch it. So they get something else and then they get something else. Forgetting that when we have too much, just like us as adults, when we have too much chaos and clutter in our house, it can be hard for us to stay focused, it can be hard for us to feel good in our space. That same concept applies to our kids. Um, so when we go ahead and practice Montessori, playrooming and toy rotation, we're really keeping things minimalist, which allows for a deeper and more focused play. Another reason I like the play hits is because I can kind of just keep uh, different toys in their boxes and like, okay, we're done with this. I'll obviously mix them up because as she's gotten older, we'll go ahead and say, we use one from month nine and 10 and then one from month 12 and 13. So I'll go ahead and hybrid them all together into its own play kit, but they make it really simple for constantly switching things out. Everything's really well made. One of the things we haven't talked about is quality of the products and all of their woods are sustainably sourced forested wood 
Their cottons are organic. Their inks are soy based. Everything is really just, it's made I think from the highest quality materials and then that translates into some of the highest quality toys. If you watch like my individual play kit reviews where I go deep into what's inside each play kit, you'll hear me say how some of these toys have taken a full on beating from my child and they are still in excellent, amazing condition. Which leads us to the next frequently asked question. How do I keep my love of room toys clean? Again, because they're really well made, they're actually really easy to clean. If it is a toy made with some sort of fabric, you can usually just throw that in the wash on cold, tumble, dry, low. If it's a wooden toy or a plastic toy, just a soft cloth and a little warm soapy water. With each play kit, it gives you like a little booklet about what's inside and there's actually care instructions for all of the toys as well, which is really awesome and super helpful. I know as somebody who's just not the best at cleaning sometimes. Next question I get a lot is what if I'm trying to choose between Love Every Play Gym and Love Every's play kits. And what I would say to that is they're really just different and it has to do with your budget. I personally, if like I could only budget for one, I would start budgeting for Love Every play kits starting with the inspector play kit. So month seven and eight, if I was being really frugal about it. If you can get the play gym, get the play gym. They're gonna live in it the first year. There's also a tent extension to have your kid play with it well into the toddler years. They'll love the tent extension, but just like to their toys, I would utilize toy rotation to keep that item fresh. Um, so if you can afford everything, I'd go ham, especially if it's your first kid. But if you're trying to keep things like really budget friendly, you know, starting with the inspector play kit at month seven to eight, which kind of answers the next question. I have a newborn, should I start? When should I start on my Love Every subscription? I'd start from zero to 12 weeks, the, the looker play kit. Um, the items in there are so simple, but so many of them we continue to use to this day. I'll leave a link to that specific play kit review. I think you start to get the most bang for your buck, at the seven to eight month play kit, the inspector. But with that said, we still use most of the items in the first two, the inspector or the looker and the charmer play kits all of the time. So I'll leave review uh, links to all of my detailed reviews. It really depends on your budget though, but those items are gonna last you well past the newborn days. At least they do for us. And if you wanna dive deeper into each box, you guys can check out, I put together a little playlist or I'm releasing a little playlist, um, which you guys can check out right here, where each box has its own little unboxings type video, as well as my review of how the toy is held up a year later and after the fact, now that my daughter is a year and a half. And then the last question I get asked all the time is, do you have a discount code for Love Every? Um, to my knowledge right now, I am an affiliate for them. So I do make a commission if you guys purchase through my link below. It doesn't change the price for you at all. It's just like, thanks for supporting my family. I'm the sole income. Um, but with that said, to my knowledge right now, Love Every does not have any discount codes for affiliates. They do offer a 10% discount on their website and I'll leave details for that in the description box below. If that changes for whatever reason, I will update this description box below, um, update the blog post on theconfusedmillennial.com and let you guys know on my Instagram at theconfusedmillennial because obviously I want you guys to save as much money as possible. Basically, we love the Love Every Play Kits. They save us a ton of time researching, shopping, uh, comparing, all of that type of stuff. Cuts down on all the decision fatigue, delivered straight to our door, plus they're really aesthetically pleasing. Well made, easy to clean. I mean, like, what more could you really ask for in a toy subscription service? <laughs> if you have any questions, my name's Rachel. Hit me up on Instagram, at the Confused Millennial. Talk to you guys soon.